I have tried filming this intro about seven times now and my words are just not working. Uh, I realized that I haven't filmed a routine video or like any of my normal or like just normal like equestrian YouTuber videos in a while. So I'm going to start today with a winter grooming routine and then I have other stuff in mind like feeding routine in the winter, stuff like that. But for today's video, unfortunately it is snowing outside, which is pretty rare for North Carolina, but um, just that just means I can't ride and the horses, or at least Diesel's inside, so he may be a little bit bouncy off the walls, but we're going to try our best. Um, so I can't do my normal like tack up routine and like, you know, post ride or whatever, but we're going to try to incorporate as much as I can. I'm going to give you guys some tips as well as my general routine for winter grooming. Um, one thing that I'm not going to touch on super heavily is blanketing, only because Everybody has a different blanket routine and everyone has different beliefs, whether you should or should not blanket and certain weather that you blanket. Personally, Diesel keeps a show coat all year long and then I actually clipped body, fully body clipped Foxy this year because he had a show in December. Otherwise, all my retired horses, you know, get blanket very limited. Um, some of our boarders that are fully retired only get blanketed under 40 degrees, but Diesel is blanketed pretty heavily and on a pretty steady routine. Um, but again, I won't be going over that super in depth just because I really don't want to get into the whole like, oh my god, you blanket, oh my god, you do this, um, it's just not worth it. <laughs> also, um, my mother gave me this hat that has my bun poking out the top of it. I don't know if you can even like see it, but I love it and I don't know where she got it, but highly recommend if you can find them. I feel like they were all over the internet at one point. Um, but yeah, it's like 30 degrees outside, which is cold for us North Carolinians. I can't stand when people are like, oh my god, that's not even cold. I'm from Boston, and I consider this cold because I've lived here for like 10 years now, and this is what my body's used to, so live and let live. <laughs> Alright guys, so the first tip or like routine part that I have for you is Normally, I try to keep his blankets on as, as long as possible, keep him warm because he is, like I said, he has a show coat throughout the entire winter, which means he has literally no coat. So as soon as I take those blankets off, he starts dancing around. He's like, oh my God, I'm cold. He gets very upset. So normally I try to, as if I'm tacking up, I'll try to brush his legs off, do his polos, do his feet, do everything I can as long as, so, so I can keep the blankets on as long as possible, keep him warm, keep him happy, keep both of us happy, make the process a little easier. <laughs> it comes to his tail, I know a lot of people have different opinions about tails, or, and some people are like, oh, don't touch them, don't bag them, some people bag them for the entire winter and never redo it, which is kind of terrifying. Um, I'm kind of a little all over the spectrum, I understand, I don't know what the heck he's doing. <laughs> I understand not wanting to touch them and not wanting to rip the hair out, but I have a pretty intense routine and I will scream at anybody who touches my horse's tail without doing this routine. Um, so basically my routine, I have one glove on. Also these gloves are awesome, they're by SSG, they're like 10 below gloves, I don't know. Someone got them for me and they're like really nice and I'm really appreciative, <laughs> what are you doing? Alright, so a little tip that I have for you guys real quick is the alcohol spray. A lot of people have asked me what to do about sweat marks in the winter, which can be a headache to deal with. All you really need are two things, an empty spray bottle and alcohol. And this is rubbing alcohol. You can buy it when you're underage, I think. Um, <laughs> it's not drinking alcohol, I promise. Um, and some of the alcohol is labeled kind of funny. It's like called different things, but just look it up and you'll see what is a different call, but all you need is rubbing alcohol. And then of course, no specific type of spray bottle. This is one that had something else in it and now I put something else in it, so whatever works. Uh, you can also get spray bottles from the Dollar Tree, whatever. I put kind of half um, of the alcohol in there and then fill the half, rest of the half with water, shake it up every time you use it. And as soon as you take their saddle off, spray this on there and then curry it in really well. And then as soon as they dry, you can kind of brush the hair flat again and the sweat, the sweat marks are all gone. It's a miracle. I love it. Highly recommend it. Um, but what you do want to do when you use this is, you know, every once in a while, every few rides, put some show sheen on or a coat conditioner or some type of conditioner that will bring the coat back to life because the alcohol will dry out their coat. All right. So next tip that I have for you guys is a shedding blade. And you actually don't need to have a horse with a thick coat to use one of these and you don't have to be in shedding season to use it. So this one's by Groom Ninja. I know there's a lot of different brands out there. 
I don't know that there's a difference. Um, I actually won this in a giveaway is the only reason I have it. Um, but these things are awesome. Like normally Diesel has a blanket on all winter long, but on the occasional sunny day or whatever, he goes out with wild one. Of course he comes in caked in mud and you can't always give him a bath in the winter. I personally try to never give baths in the winter because that can make them very, very sick. Um, honestly, even on show days, I just do a lot of currying. Um, but these things are great because they, after you curry, after you pull all the mud, get it loose, whatever, these things really help with getting the dust and the dirt out of the coat. So the curry, you know, lifts it really well. And then sometimes this does a little bit more than your average stiff brush can just kind of move it around. This will really get it up and out, which is awesome. So when it comes to my normal routine, like I said earlier, <laughs> he's going to start doing weird things again. Um, I'll try to do his legs first while he has his coats on and keeping warm. Um, I'll do, I'll pick out his feet, I'll brush his legs out, I'll do all that. Um, and then if we're going to be in a really dry arena or if he's going to be going back in his stall with all the shavings that are sucking up moisture, I'll put whole hoof oil on his feet. Um, the one that I use is the Sport Horse Essentials hoof oil, which I really, really love because it's all natural, so you don't have any of that extra gunk going in there. It's all natural. I've seen fantastic results and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, one thing that you do want to watch out for when you're using hoof oil is not to overuse it. I don't put it on every ride. I maybe put it on once a week. And that's just because if you overuse it, you can over moisturize the horse's feet and make them really, really soft. And then you'll run into a shoe pulling issue or something like that. Also, while he has his blanket on, I will do his tail. And then another little tidbit that I have for you guys is if you're going to do braids in the mane or braids in the tail, please redo them every week because if you don't, you end up with tangled messes. It tears out chunks of hair. It's just really, really irritating for the horse. So to remain responsible and kind to the horse and also actually have the braids do their job, please redo them as often as possible. So these are most of the things I'm going to be using. This is obviously just a regular hoof pick. I love the ones with the brushes on the sides um, or on the other end because it really helps get everything out and you can use it on the tops of their hooves. Um, this is a stiff brush that I got from Horse Guard. Love it. Very, very great quality. This is a little bit of a softer brush. Um, normally I'll get all the gunk out and I'll use this for his legs, get all the you know stuff off their legs, make sure everything's clean before a polo goes on. And I'll use this to finish off his body. And then of course just a normal you know, mane and tail brush. I think I got this from Wal a Walmart. It does not need to be anything fancy. This is the Sport Horse Essentials hoof oil and then their coat spray, which I love, love, love because this really does the trick with getting all the dandruff and everything out from underneath blankets. Um, and then the fungus blend. We have a lot of issues with Foxy with um, getting fungus and like, uh, what's the word, scratches and stuff on his legs in the winter. So that helps a lot. Almost forgot to in include a couple of things. You guys already saw the Groom Ninja. This is another type of shedding blade that really makes them shine. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but you can see them everywhere. It's got like a maroon packaging when it first comes. Um, and it's just like a chalky material and it really helps get all the dirt out after you brush them. And then of course, just a curry. Uh, mine has magnet things on the other side. I hardly ever use those unless we're just like giving a massage or something. But just normal curry gets all the dirt and the oil up from their natural skin and makes them all shiny. All right, so I'm gonna start on my crazy tail routine, which really isn't that crazy. I just made, made fun of it a lot for it because like if anybody touches my tail without doing this, I say my tail, but like my horse's tail, obviously, I will go berserk on you. Um, but basically all I do is I start out with some show, show sheen and I just never be able to say that. Um, and like soak it all in the tail. Um, and I will start at the bottom of his tail. Always, always start at the bottom. Very, very slowly make your way up. So you're getting all the knots out, but you're not ripping hair out. Um, and then once it's all brushed through, I will put some, um, Sport Horse Essentials coat spray in there. I still can't talk today and you know work that through the tail and then I braid it all up and you make sure you leave the top of the tail so there's no braid technically on the tailbone if that makes sense um, and then the top of the braid which is kind of connected to the tailbone is pretty loose and you braid that all the way down put your tail bag in tie it off so it's still under the tailbone um, make sure all the hairs at the top of the tailbone are loose and out of the bag um, and then you've got your bag tail
legs all in and his tailbone ends about here. So it's obviously not right on the tailbone and I've made sure that all the hair up here is loose and not pulling on it. Um, the braid up here is super loose and then gets tighter as it goes down the braid. Um, but again, that just kind of keeps the mud and all the nasties out of his tail and then sitting in that saturated show sheen and coat spray and everything makes it super, super soft when I take it out next week. All right, so now that we're finally to the routine part, I'm going to pull all his blankets off, which should prove interesting because he's going to get cold because it's like really cold today for North Carolina, of course. Um, and I don't know where my gloves went and my hands are already turning red. Um, so yeah, you'll notice that he has a lot of blankets on. It's two medium, two, de blah, 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 blah. two medium weights and a sheet. Um, and basically my rule of thumb is as long as they're warm but not hot under their blankets, I'm good. Because <laughs> I don't want him growing any sort of a winter coat because he has a show the first week in March. So we gotta be ready for it. Please stop chewing on everything. So you guys can see kind of what I'm talking about with the Groom Ninja. Obviously he has no winter coat to shed out, but this thing is getting out all of the dandruff and the dirt that just kind of sits in his coat. And obviously I haven't done this in a while, but like that's just like gross hair that just comes right out. And then I'll brush over it and get all like the leftover dust and stuff. But it's a seriously awesome grooming tool. So since Diesel's blankets are a little bit small for him, but we're making them last through this season, um, they rub them a little bit. So what I'm going to do is actually use this fungus blend from Sport Horse Essentials to help with hair regrowth on his shoulders. Um, it, they just rub him a little bit, so we're trying to avoid as much rubbing this season as we had last season. Whoa. And you can also combat this with a shoulder guard. Um, I just don't have any in his size, so we're just kind of doing some preventatives. All right guys, so that's honestly all I've got for you today. I'm gonna throw his blankets back on and put him back in his stall because it's disgusting outside and he still can't go out. Um, I actually already put his Four Horse Essentials hoof oil on for today, so I don't wanna double up on that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna wrap him back up in his taco-ness and he's gonna go back in his stall and chill until he can go outside and probably pull all his shoes off. But um, I hope you guys like this video and hopefully there's gonna be a lot more to come. Stay warm. <laughs> quick editor's note because I forgot something that I really wanted to include but I also really don't want to go back down to the barn because it's really cold out um, but another thing that you can do for cleaning up horses legs in the winter um, this is especially if your horse has a little bit of a winter coat they tend to grow what most people call feathers and that's right under their fetlock kind of in their pastern area they get really really long hair and it's a great place to collect mud and dirt and grossness that most of the time in the cold weather will freeze and make icicles and just a really uncomfortable situation for everybody so if you have clippers what you can do is clean it up really good put some show sheen on the feathers and clip the whole back of the horse's leg and that cleans it up makes it a really easy to you know brush off put polos on and everything else keeps the horse's leg clean and safe and really avoids you know the fungus and the, all the nasty crud that comes with mud soaking and sitting on horses legs um, and then if you don't have clippers it's not gonna be as pretty of a look but you can take some scissors and just kind of like cut off the big chunks and trim it up as best you can but your best bet is to do it with clippers